Hello and welcome to Jay Get It. Ever wonder what really happens behind the scenes at your bank? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of banking. From ancient civilizations to modern financial systems, we'll uncover it all. Stick around, you might just be surprised by what you learn. Did you know that the first banks were created over 4,000 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia? That's right, around 2000 BCE. People needed a safe place to store their grain and other valuables and thus, the first banks were born. Let's take a quick journey through the history of banking. In ancient Greece and Rome, around 600 BCE to 300 CE, temples served as secure places for keeping money. Priests and temple officials acted as early bankers, safeguarding deposits and lending money. Banking began to shape with functions like currency exchange and loans. Fast forward to medieval Europe from the 12th to 15th centuries and we see the rise of merchant banks. The Medici family in Renaissance Italy, particularly in the 15th century, revolutionized banking by creating the double entry bookkeeping system and offering various financial services. The 7th century marked another significant milestone with the establishment of the Bank of England in 1694. This was the first modern central bank and it introduced many practices that form the backbone of today's banking systems such as issuing banknotes and managing national debt. By the 19th century, banks had become integral to the Industrial Revolution, providing the necessary capital for businesses to grow. The early 20th century saw further developments with the establishment of central banks in many countries to stabilize economies and regulate financial systems. Now, let's talk about the gold standard. Imagine a time when every dollar you had backed by actual gold. From the late 19th century until 1933, the United States and many other countries operated under the gold standard, meaning their currency was directly linked to gold. Under the gold standard, if you had a $20 bill, you could theoretically exchange it for $20 worth of gold. However, the Great Depression in 1930s led to the abandonment of the gold standard, allowing for more flexible monetary policies. Next up is fractional reserve banking. This might sound complicated, but it's actually quite simple. Banks keep a fraction of your deposits as reserves and lend out the rest. For example, if you deposit $100, the bank might keep $10 and lend out $90. This system allows banks to create money through lending, which fuels economic growth, but it also means that banks need to manage the reserves carefully to avoid problems like bank runs. Not all banks are created equal. Let's break down the different types of banks and their roles. First, we have commercial banks. There are the ones you probably use for your everyday banking needs, checking accounts, savings accounts, loans, and more. Commercial banks are essential for keeping the economy running smoothly by providing loans and managing deposits. Then we have investment banks. These banks help companies raise capital, manage investments, and advise on mergers and acquisitions. They play a critical role in the financial markets. Central banks, like the Federal Reserve in the United States, oversee monetary policy and regulate the banking system. They control interest rates, manage inflation, and ensure financial stability. Credit unions and community banks are different from commercial banks in that they are often smaller and focused on serving local communities. Credit unions are member-owned and typically offer lower fees and better interest rates. Understanding how banks works is crucial for making informed financial decisions. From the history of banking to modern practices like fractional reserve banking and the various types of banks, we covered a lot today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Jay Get It and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Have any questions about banking? Drop them in the comments below and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and remember, the only people who get it are the people who get it. See you in the next episode of Jay Get It.